Hey guys, I'm Ananya. Welcome back to my channel. Most of you guys are confused about the vaccines that are being distributed in India, especially Covaxin and Covishield. Some questions arise like uh, which one is better, how do they work, what's the difference between the two and which one should you take. In this video, I will try to answer these and explain uh, it in a very simple manner. So let's start with what is a vaccine? Vaccination uh, is an intentional exposure to the disease causing organism or pathogen but uh, when they are incapable to cause the disease. There are various types of vaccine and in this case we need to know about the inactivated type that is a co-vaccine and the recombinant vector that is Covishield. So let's talk about co-vaccine. Co-vaccine has been developed in India by Bharat Biotech. It, it is an inactivated type of vaccine and uh, it is also authorized by ICMR. When you take Covaxin, an inactivated form of the virus SARS-CoV-2 which is responsible for COVID-19 is injected in your system. The actual virus is injected when it is no longer virulent. So how does it work? The virus is inactivated by heat or chemicals. The virus remains intact but the genetic material which in this case is RNA is denatured or broken so that uh, it cannot replicate further to cause an infection but still allows it to induce an immune response to the antigens contained within the organism. Because the spike proteins of the coronavirus is still intact, so your immune system produces antibodies to fight it. In this way, your immune system is prepared when you are actually exposed to the virus. Covishield has been developed by the University of Oxford. It is also known by the name AstraZeneca and it, the vaccine type is non-replicating viral vector and it has been manufactured by Serum Institute of India. When you are taking Covishield, the actual SARS-CoV-2 virus is not injected in your body. In this case, the virus which is injected is a common adenovirus which causes infection in chimpanzees. The adenovirus acts as a vector. It carries a piece of the novel, novel coronavirus when uh, it is injected in your system, it mimics the SARS-CoV-2 virus and it produces the spike proteins and your immune system thinks that it is SARS-CoV-2 virus and produces antibodies to fight it. Okay, so what are the side effects? You may or may not face any side effects. It uh, varies from person to person. It depends on how your immune system reacts to it. You may uh, face a uh, mild fever, body ache, fatigue, allergies, etc. So let's talk about the efficacy rate. Uh, the efficacy rate of Covishield is 70%. The efficacy rate can be over 90% if the vaccine is administered in half a dose and then a full dose a month later. And the efficacy rate of Covaxin is 78% and has a 100% efficacy rate against the severe COVID-19 cases. For Covishield, the rates has been set uh, as rupees 400 for government hospitals and rupees 600 for private hospitals as of now. And uh, Covaxin has been set at rupees 600 for government hospitals and uh, 1200 for, for private hospitals. You uh, may also get it for free. It depends on the area you are living in. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter which one you are taking. Both are good enough to boost your immunity, given the condition that we don't really have the luxury to choose. So I would recommend you to take whichever you get at the earliest. Don't be picky unless you have some serious complications. Make sure that you uh, take the second dose or the vaccine won't be that effective as the efficacy and efficiency are based on that. And don't think that if you have taken the vaccine, you are safe and you won't contract the disease. You can still be COVID positive after taking the vaccine. So please be careful and wear your mask even after you have been vaccinated. The vaccine is supposed to prevent you from becoming uh, serious. It will reduce the severity of the disease, but it will not protect you for long. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer your questions. And please share this video with your friends and family and help me reach out to more people. If you found it helpful, do subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.